Hi dear students, welcome to the next topic from rotational motion. Today we are going to see the few other topics uh, as a continuation of the center of mass topic what we have discussed in the last session. First topic is analogous equation in rotational motion with respect to the equation in one dimensional motion which means in one dimensional motion you have learned a lot of equations so for example v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square v square is equal to u square plus 2as you have learned such kind of equations and in the today's session also we will see what what are the analogous equations uh, similar to what you have studied in one dimensional motion so let's write down the heading analogy of equation analogy of equation in rotational motion in rotational motion or in rotational dynamics with respect to 1d motion equation with respect to 1d motion equation analogy of equation in rotational motion with respect to the 1d motion equations in one dimensional motions we have lot of parameter right so that parameters how uh, which we are going to represent it over here okay so we know uh, displacement we know velocity and we know acceleration we have actually two type of acceleration that we will see a bit later at and ac tangential acceleration and uh, centripetal acceleration these are the common things which we have used displacement means in one dimensional motion a body how much distance it is traveled that is called a displacement but in case of rotational motion it is a circular motion right so instead of s we will comes as a another parameter called theta theta is a how much angle it is rotated so this is normally representing in the unit of radian okay if a full circle complete how many radians will be there 2 pi radian will be there 2 pi radian which is equal to 360 degree clear velocity velocity is the speed of the body I can say it's a speed of the body so comparable to or the analogous to velocity is called omega omega is called angular velocity angular velocity and the unit of this angular velocity is omega is equal to d theta by dt we will write for velocity right what we will write for velocity velocity equal to ds by dt we will write so instead of s what is coming over here omega theta so instead of s what is theta so omega is equal to d theta by dt its unit is what theta in the unit radian okay dt the unit second so unit is a radians per second and instead of acceleration we have another parameter which is called alpha and uh, uh, this is called angular angular acceleration so only thing is you have to add a word called angular in front of everything angular acceleration angular velocity so what this will come angular then balance e name what is the name of this one displacement so angular displacement so this is very simple so s is a displacement is angular displacement v it's omega a is equal to alpha okay so later we will study one more parameter that is similar to mass instead of mass here we have one parameter called i a i we will learn little bit later i is called moment of inertia moment of inertia so wherever mass comes you can replace with the analogous to mass in rotational motion is i so s theta v omega a alpha and m is equal to i okay so we know the a lot of uh, equations over here also omega is equal to d theta by dt 
accelerations we will write a is equal to dv by dt rate of change of velocity here i will write alpha is equal to d omega by dt d omega the unit is what radian per second divided by second which is equal to radian per second square is the unit of this um, um, angular acceleration moment of inertia in a very different topic very elaborately we will study later so i am not going much dig into this one later we will see every details about this one so this is clear okay so in summary i can write velocity is equal to ds by dt corresponding equation is omega d theta by dt this is important acceleration this is a just acceleration so we have two type of acceleration tangential acceleration and center petal that i will tell you a is equal to dv by dt normally acceleration the formula and here alpha is equal to d omega by dt this equation this equation is always true always true this equation is always true so this equations we will use it wherever we required this equations okay another set of equation have to set tell you see the s with the relation theta s in a theta at connect an angle what you have to do you have to multiply it with r if you want to connect yes uh, uh, if you want to connect velocity with omega you have to multiply it with r so we'll write two formula s will be equal to r theta s is equal to r theta mari velocity equation and velocity is a vector quantity adinde correct formula vector v is equal to r cross omega you have to remember r cross omega r capital eduka normally r use and the small letter on so i am using here r here capital r whatever you take you can multiply but ncrt book il ella it is with small r so adhe convention use cheyanu capital r edthalum no problem it is r cross omega very important it is not omega cross r so this is very important this is not equal to omega cross r omega cross ne edina idu wrong aanu this is a wrong answer correct one is this is the correct one v is equal to r cross omega many students will make a mistakes will be here they will write sorry uh, many students will make a mistakes here it's not r omega it's omega cross r omega cross r okay whatever i done the mistake same st same same mistake students will also will do uh, we will say v is equal to r omega so it is not r cross omega it's not r cross omega it is omega cross r so you may ask sir why it's not r cross omega why it is omega cross r this i will tell you later Th this is because if you have two vector a vector a and vector b so how to find the direction of the vector a cross b so you will draw some lines i j k then its magnitude of a magnitude of b then you will do the calculation you will get a vector so other than this one we already have a method to find out the cross product the direction of velocity based on the cross product of two other vector quantity we will use the right hand palm rule so a cross b so wherever the first vector is pointing suppose the first vector is omega what direction omega is pointing you will place your palm like this then you will fold your other four fingers in the direction of r for example omega is like this r is like this so what you will do omega cross r you will you will fold your four fingers upward so you can see the thumb the thumb is coming towards you towards you means positive is a direction or i can say it is out of the board in our in the current situation for example omega is like this r is downward so i will say omega cross r so my thumb is going inside so the direction of velocity in that case is inside so to find out the direction of the cross product of two vectors we can use right hand palm rule and your thumb will give the direction of the resultant of the two vector very important okay hope this is clear <coughs> okay then uh, we will go uh, in deep and we will do some 
numericals based on this one this is very important okay similarly here one more point we can also write accelerations connected with the alpha r we can also multiply so every linear quantity multiplied with this one so you can also write acceleration is equal to r alpha acceleration is equal to r alpha but remember one thing i told we have two acceleration tangential acceleration centripetal acceleration okay so the tangential acceleration and centripetal acceleration if i'm if i'm writing a a can have two possibility either it is at or it is equal to ac okay so this a is equal to r alpha is the tangential acceleration at equal to r alpha similarly velocity what we have calculated will be here it is vt tangential velocity there is no um, uh, this is called the tangential velocity and the other one is called that is called tangential acceleration so it's very important a and the number a acceleration is actually at and ac two terms will be there tangential acceleration and a tangential and a centripetal acceleration in a circular motion centripetal acceleration is towards the center tangential acceleration is like this correct tangential and this is called the tangential velocity and this is the tangential acceleration suppose the motion of the body very important listen to the board carefully suppose the motion to the body the, the speed is increasing in this direction so i will say the velocity vt is increasing and the increase of velocity is called the tangential acceleration both are in the same direction so angle between vt and at are same and centripetal acceleration is always towards the center in some other cases we have ac will be here we have vt will be uh, we have vt will be here and we have at in the opposite direction if at is in the opposite direction then i can say it's a decelerated motion acceleration is against the direction of velocity if you are marking in physics then it is a decelerated motion and this is an accelerated motion so i will write this is an accelerated motion this is accelerated this is decelerated decelerated means speed down other one on a t opposite to another okay so we have two type of acceleration in a circular or in a kind of a rotational motion at and ac ac is always acting towards center so this is a case if the bob will be here suppose if the bob is moving to this point then this is the direction of at and this is the direction of ac ac is always towards the center okay it's clear so this tangential acceleration is the is this one so we know like at and ac in this case are always perpendicular always makes 90 degree so that is something called net acceleration okay that is something called net acceleration so net acceleration so both are two vector quantities right so net acceleration a net equal to root of at square plus ac square this is also important ac equations already we know centripetal acceleration v square by r we know the centripetal force right mv square by r f is equal to is equal to m a non equation m a so m after m it is called a a is v square by r and this v square by r is called the centripetal acceleration okay okay so what is mean by centripetal axel so accelerations are two types based on the direction okay one is along the motion in a circular motion along the tangent tangent things are called at at and vt are same direction then it is accelerated motion if it is opposite then it is called the decelerated motion and ac is always acting towards the center angle between always 90 degree so total acceleration a net actually this a net equal to this a is equal to root of at square plus ac square so this a total acceleration a net and normally we can say acceleration is two types at and ac what would you like to have at is equal to r alpha v is equal to omega cross r okay and uh, centripetal acceleration ac is equal to v square by r and force will be equal to mv square divided by r 
so let's do some uh, questions over here then we will move to the uh, next topic after doing some uh, numericals okay so all these things should be there on your notebook huh? then we will move forward we'll do some question based on what we have discussed so far based on this we'll do some questions okay <coughs> so all this formula uh, it should be there on your mind uh, it is a very simple formula so there is no uh, complex terms but uh, this is required to solve the numericals okay if theta is equal to 2t square find the value of find the value of omega and vt vt or in question they will simply say omega and v also okay at t is equal to 2 second if r is equal to 3 3 meter let me make it as 3 meter so we want to find out the value of these parameters of omega and vt so omega has to calculate and uh, and the vt also has to calculate over this one theta equal to 2 uh, t square so we know omega is equal to d theta by dt d theta divided by dt so we are differentiating we'll get 4t now 4t at t is equal to 2 second answer is 4 into 2 it is 8 unit is what 8 radians per second and we know vt is equal to it's not a given as a vector it is just given as a magnitude so i'll write omega cross r itself now so they are only asking the magnitude man means you, you 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 can directly multiply omega is how much Omega is already we got 8 and R is how much 3 meter so 8 into 3 so it is 24 meter per second very straightforward and a very simple question okay next question if Omega is equal to T square if Omega is equal to T square by 4 find the value of theta find the value of theta at t is equal to 0 seconds <coughs> find the value of theta at sorry at t is equal to 2 seconds 2 seconds the theta the value is how much find the value of theta at t is equal to 2 seconds 2 seconds for the what will be the value and uh, that is a continuation so over over will be here also question is if if theta equal to 0 if theta equal to 0 t equal to 0 theta 0 on the time 0 on a question le. also also calculate calculate number of revolution made number of revolution made in 2 seconds then question calculate the number of revolutions made in 2 seconds <coughs> okay we want to find out the number of revolutions made find the value of theta at t is equal to 2 seconds time uh, we want to find out the value of theta at t is equal to 2 seconds and uh, find uh, the number of revolutions made in 2 seconds 2 seconds will made in the number of revolutions so let's first find out the value of theta but we know uh, omega is equal to d theta by dt so to find out differentiation taken to left hand side become integration integral omega integral omega dt time interval t1 to t2 time is starting from here theta 0 on time t is equal to 2 seconds now. number of revolutions made in 2 seconds so time in the value 2 seconds so very in the range so it is 0 to 2 find the value of omega at t is equal to 2 2 second theta initial is 0 on when time t is equal to 0 it is the number of revolutions on so 0 to 2 seconds on time in the interval omega the value t square plus 4 into dt we are integrating t square integral t cube by 3 another one is 40 upper limit uh, to lower limit is 0 we are applying upper limit minus lower limit 
So it becomes 8 by 3 minus 4 into 2, it is 8. 4 into 2, it is 8. So 2 cube, 8 by 3 minus 8. Okay. <coughs> so we have applying the upper limit. So t square into 4, t square plus 4. So 0 to 3. So we will substitute upper limit. Okay, one mistake will be here, right? 8 by 3 plus 4 into 2, 8 minus 0, minus 0 plus 0. Upper limit, upper limit is 2 apply though, then lower limit apply. So it is 0. So it is 3 into 8, 24, 32. So 32 divided by 3 radian theta. We are going to calculate the value of theta. So 32 divided by 3 is the radian for this one. Okay. So we find out the value of theta. But what is the final part of the question? Number of revolutions made in 2 seconds. So this is the how much angle it is rotated in 2 seconds. We know one full revolution. A body starting from here and reaching over here. So this will complete. Which means one revolution is equal to 2 pi radian. Okay, so in one radian, we have going 1 by 2 pi revolution, 1 by 2 pi. How much radian we have? 32 by 3. So, 32 by 3 radians will complete 32 by 3 into, 32 by 3 into 1 by 2 pi revolution. So, I can say 2 get cancelled. So, 16 divided by 3 pi revolution. This is the number of revolutions completed in completed in that period of time. Okay. Okay, fine. And I have to give you one note point. <coughs> fine. So let's go ahead. Hmm. That is a, a key point. So please write a note. Uh, just a, a subheadings can be uh, written. Just uh, and one additional point. Note. Okay. At center at uh, the tangential acceleration, both direction and magnitude changes both direction and magnitude changes both direction the tangential acceler tang acceleration acceleration the speed increasing both direction and the magnitude are changes okay about uh, direction changes on the magnitude changes on so normally we'll write at is equal to dvt by dt this equation is applicable but in case of ac okay most of the cases the magnitude constant the magnitude constant but direction changes but direction changes but direction changes so this is at this is ac and when come here this is at and this is ac always it makes 90 degree just one one additional hint so uh, nothing uh, complicated or nothing will be there okay <clears throat> so fine so let's uh, go to do one more question and then we will uh, wind up for this sessions okay so the question over here so let me clean the board first then we will write Fine. Theta value will be given uh, as usual to other question. If theta equal to t cube plus uh, t square plus 1 r equal to 2 meter. Find omega alpha a t v at t is equal to 2 seconds. We want to find out omega. So we will we will we will go and answer this one. This is simple, right? This is very simple question. So, omega is equal to d theta by dt. At it is equal to 2 seconds. So, we will substitute. 
d omega by dt it's 3t square plus 2t at t is equal to 2 seconds ah oru bar ittittu we'll write 2 is equal to 2 seconds means at this time ee at nalla enna oru shortcut aanu normally ingane books il ella ingane use cheyum standard books il okay so 3 into 2 square 2 square means 4 plus 2 into 2 so 12 plus 4 it is 18 radians per second alpha alpha we know it is d omega by dt so which means d by dt of omega is what omega is this one 3 t square plus 2 t either this is the standard value of omega this is the value of omega at t is equal to 2 seconds so now we got the standard value of alpha now we are going to do the value of alpha at t is equal to 2 seconds so which means we will differentiate this again so we will we'll get um, uh, 3t square differentiation is 60 and plus 2 at t is equal to 2 seconds. So, answer is how much? 6 into 2 plus 2. So, 6 into 2 plus 2. So, 12, 14 radians per second square. 14 radians per second square. Okay. So, we got everything. Now, we want to get uh, 80. 80 is equal to what? 80 is equal to R alpha. We already know. R already is given 2 meter. Alpha is 14. So, it is 28 meter per second square. So, we got omega. We got alpha. We got 80. And next one is V. So, V is equal to omega cross R. Learn like this. Normally, we have a tendency to say R omega. But in vector format, it is omega cross R. What is omega? Omega at t is equal to 2 seconds. 18 on. So, 18 into r will be equal to 2 meter so which is 36 meter per second so all things are answered okay oh here uh, uh, 3 into okay 12 here it is 16 right okay 12 12 plus so it becomes 12 plus 4, 16. 16 is coming. So 16, where, the, where all the mistakes will be coming? Alpha is correct. Here will correct, right? 16 into 2, and it is 32 meter per second. Value multiply the mistakes, Anna, you can correct it. 32 meter per second. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Totally 4 parameters that are asked in the question. So which we have calculated. Okay. Good. Next, the another uh, not point <coughs> okay fine so we have a set of mo 1d motion equations and we have a uh, rotational motion equations we have a 1d motion equation and we have a rotational motion equations in 1d motion equations so what are the 1d motion equations so velocity is equal to ds by dt acceleration is equal to dv by dt here omega is equal to d theta by dt alpha is equal to d omega by dt this already we have done we have another standard set of equation right so wherever this equation is applicable always true always true you can apply wherever you want this equations but this set of equation but we have v is equal to u plus 80 v square is equal to u square plus 2 as s is equal to ut plus half at square similar to this one v v is the final velocity omega initial velocity u so we are representing as omega 0 at at means alpha t next one v square omega square equal to omega naught square plus 2 alpha a instead of a alpha s instead of s is what theta s is equal to ut plus half a t square s means theta is equal to ut ut means omega 0 t plus half alpha t square so where this equation is applicable so this equation is applicable only if only if alpha is constant in one dimensional motion you are learning right if alpha is constant only you can use this one this is only if a is constant 
if acceleration is constant you can use this equation and in another side if alpha is constant you can use this equation but this set of equations are always true always true okay this is the analogous analogy between one dimensional motion equations and two dimensional motion equation <coughs> fine hope uh, this is clear and um, yeah <coughs> great so let's move to the next topic and which is called torque okay how many torques you have learned in physics how many times you are learning torque in physics in physics torque you have learned in four places in entire first year and second year <coughs> okay entire first year and second year you are learning torque in four places first torque we have learned in work power energy second torque will be here rotational motion and third so two times of torque you have learning in first year and two times of torque you have learning in second year also one is in electrostatics one is in magnetism so let's see wherever you have learning the torque okay as a summary just for you to understand torque will have four set of equation torque is equal to r cross f one set of equation torque is equal to i alpha torque is equal to p cross e in electrostatics torque is equal to m cross b in magnetism moving charges and magnetism so four torque in physics four torque in physics okay so two from 11th and two from 12th two from 12th so these are the four torque equations in the entire physics first year and second year we are learning so first we will start with the torque is equal to r cross of this is actually from work power energy chapter this is from rotational motion chapter this is from electrostatics chapter electrostatics this is from magnetism moving charges and magnetism chapter magnetism chapter so four talks so uh, first uh, last two things are second year this is from work power energy i will start from here and then we'll go here so that it's bit bit easy so what is called a torque okay torque is called coupling force torque is called a coupling force coupling force means two forces are required to have a torque effect torque means turning effects very simple example you are opening the door and you are closing the door so two forces are acting one is you are you are uh, you are keeping your hand on the handles so there you are applying a force and there is a hinge will be there on the other side there also one force will be there so both the forces are creating in opposite direction you are pulling this side hinge will turn this side so this will give rise to a turning effects and this turning effect is called the torque that's what it is called coupling forces okay torque is the turning effects turning effect in your torque and so on okay so let me take one 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 example suppose <coughs> i have an hinge over here so hinge is fixed on i am applying a force like this one okay so with respect to horizontal it makes an angle called theta and the distance from the hinge to the point where force is applying is called r so r r will be there now i can resolve now uh, suppose if you are asking what is the value of torque then we have two way so the torque in the general equations torque is equal to r cross f1 okay r cross f1 our first equation r cross of means you know r of sin theta <coughs> r f sin theta how this is coming this is what what actually i am trying to describe here f means this horizontal curved and theta ke pakkathil irikkana side f cos theta the other side is called f sin theta so now the conditions will be here while writing the torque equation it is make sure that 
ആർ പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ക്രോസ് വിത്ത് ഫോഴ്സ് പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ രണ്ടും പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ആണോ ആറും എഫും പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ആണോ ആർ ഈസ് പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ആൻഡ് എഫ് ഈസ് പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ സി ആർ ഈസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഡിറക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് എഫ് കോസ് തീറ്റ ഈസ് പാരലൽ ടു ആർ ദാറ്റ് യു കെ നോട്ട് ടേക്ക് ഇൻ ടു ടോർക്ക് But what you can take R will be here. F sin theta is in this direction. So R is F sin theta is perpendicular. Now this is perpendicular 90 degree. This is contributing to torque. So I can say <coughs> F sin theta. Because F sin theta is in this direction. If you are pulling the hinge like this. Hinge will rotate? No. Hinge will be, become tight. But if you pull like this one. What will happen? This hinge can rotate like this. So, F sin theta is contributing, contributing to turning effects. I can say it's contributing to turning effects. So, F sin theta is contributing to the turning effects. So, torque is equal to R into E cases. What is the force will be here? Force into the distance, perpendicular distance. For, and R into the perpendicular distance. അതായത് ആറും ഈ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഫോഴ്സും ഓൾവേസ് പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ദെൻ ഓൺലി ദിസ് ടോർക്ക് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ആർ വാലിഡ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് ദെൻ ഓൺലി ദ ടോർക്ക് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ആർ വാലിഡ് സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് ഐ എം ആസ്കിങ് യു വൺ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദി ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ടോർക്ക് ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ആസ് എ ടോൾ ബിഫോർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾവേസ് ദ ക്രോസ് പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടു വെക്ടേഴ്സ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദി ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ക്രോസ് പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ വെക്ടേഴ്സ് ദ ഈസിയസ്റ്റ് വേ ഈസ് ടു യൂസ് റൈറ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് പാം റോൾ so let's apply will be here right hand palm rule so right hand taken first i will place my palm in the direction of r cross f it's not f cross r it's r cross f so r direction r r r is the force which are always acting from the hinge so r cross so r cross f f uh, f means the force which is contributing to the turning effects so f sin theta is contributing to the turning effect so i will fold my other four fingers like this so my thumb is going outside so in this case outside means what direction plus is the direction so in this case in this case using a right hand thumb rule using right hand thumb rule or you can say right hand palm rule anything you can say okay right hand people will say right hand palm rule or people will say right hand thumb rule both are same thing thumb rule gives in this case gives direction of torque direction of the torque direction of the torque we actually get the direction of torque in this case what direction plus is the direction plus is the direction right r cross f r in direction palm place here other four fingers next to where the first first vector in a place here second where is the f1 here in this case f f means the perpendicular force to the perpendicular direction so this will give rise to torque ഏത് the force or not torque is giving our directions le next four fingers fold here so your thumb is coming outside okay you can just stand and you can do the same thing you will also get it you can also f is going upward r is going in this direction so r cross f so thumb is outside okay in 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 vector format wise also it is correct so r is in what direction r i cap direction right r i cap f sin theta its cross product means f sin theta in what direction j cap what is i cross j i cross j you have learned this circle right i j k so i cross j is k easy on it j cross k is i k cross i is j reverse where the minus value j cross i minus k k cross j minus i k cross i k cross i is the same k cross i is j okay one direction is positive i cross j means k j cross k i is the answer k cross i j is the answer so here i cross j so i can say r of sin theta into k k will come k means what plus k we are getting plus k means positive is the direction hope this is clear to you okay <coughs> fine so let's do some numericals 
based on what we have learned so far <coughs> okay find the torque of the bob find the torque of the bob so you have a bob which is located over here and this makes an angle of 30 degree and the length of the string is 1 meter bob of mass will be equal to 1 kilogram only these are the factors which are given to us we have to solve this one okay now we know first we have to find out the torque we know that r should be perpendicular multiplied with f should be perpendicular this is only i can write in simple way r perpendicular into f perpendicular so this is the length at this position so length is always starting from where hinge whatever i am marking in the blue color is the answer okay do not want your case draw only this then for answer draw a separate diagram do not mark everything on the question diagram question is separate answer is separate always remember that question diagram we are not supposed to mark answer question is only this much okay so i am completing the answer so you have to draw a separate diagram then you have to draw all these things so r vector is actually like this this is the r vector in R purpose. So here we have weight. Weight is called mg. Mg is 1g. Okay. So the e R vector. So this 1g can be split into two components. One component like this and one component along the direction. E 1g is split. If this angle is uh, uh, what can I say 30 degree then what is this angle is also 30. What is this? 60. So what is this component will come? E theta and the side will look another 1g cos 60. What is this will come? 1g 1g either you can write 1g sin 60 or you can write 1g cos 30. 1g cos 30. So if you see r and 1g cos 30, either r this is actually our f, this is actually our f, but this is the r e r and perpendicular right where the idi f perpendicular on it this is f parallel so which force we need to take f perpendicular so torque is equal to r is 1 meter into f perpendicular f perpendicular means 1g cos 60 1g cos 60 g is 10 cos 60 is 1 by 2 answer is 5 what is the unit of torque this is called a newton and this is meter force into distance right so 5 newton meter is the right answer okay so we'll go and see the next problem next question okay so let me clean the board i need some space <coughs> okay Question is a force F is given F at vector F will be equal to 2i plus 3j minus k. Everything will have a unit vector. Acting at a point, acting at a point, acting in the point is given at acting at a point P and this is 1, 2, 2. Acting at a point 1, 2, 2. Find the moment of force find the moment of force find the moment of force about the point about the point 0 comma 1 comma 3 about the point 0 comma 1 comma 3 okay so we'll answer this one so moment of force moment of force is nothing but called torque so we know uh, uh, torque will be is equal to r cross f f is given but r is one we want to calculate this force is acting at the point p p in solana every point this force is acting find the moment of force with respect to this point so what what we have to do means 
वेक्टर आर इज ईक्वल टू आर पी माइन आर ओ वित् रेस्पेक्ट दिस् अब वित् रेस्पेक्ट ऐसा वरुद दैट पॉइंट विल बी द सैकंड पॉइंट ओके सो फोर्स इज आक्टिंग ऑन दिस् पॉइंट वित् रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस् पॉइंट सो दैट विल बी कम एस ए डिफर so i am saying like your height is equal to 10 meter for example i am saying your height is equal to 10 meter so with respect to from where ground ground you are taking as zero so 10 minus 0 so zero is with respect to okay so same concept will be here so we are subtracting these two in the order by us we can subtract we will get i j k complex then 1 minus 0 which means 1 i 2 minus 1 which means 1 j 2 minus 3 minus 1 k. So, moon vector we got. So, R we got. F is already given. So, how to find out R cross F torque is equal to R cross F. So, I J K. So, 2 R cross F. R cross F. Remember the R first. So, here R, then here F. So, R first is R. R means what? 1 1 minus 1. Then R cross F. 2. Hmm. This is the formula. Force in a two, it is a three, and then minus one. So we'll substitute this one. So I into so one into minus one minus one, three into minus one, it's plus three. Correct. Okay. Then minus j into minus j into one into minus one minus one minus two into minus one minus two. So the plus two now. Plus k into Plus k into how will do plus k into one into three three minus two so three minus two so answer is what this will comes as two i and minus one plus two means plus one e plus one no minus j then plus k so two i minus j plus k is the right answer to the question this is in the vector format sometimes in in your option. This may give it as vector format. Sometimes they will, uh, some sometimes they will give you a magnitude. Magnitude of torque means what? Root of two square plus minus one square plus one square. It is the one in the square. It is the magnitude in the square. Right? So how much will come? Four plus one plus one, which is equal to root six newton meter. So depends on the question. Sometimes question answer will be they are expected up to this one. Sometimes in the option they are answering expecting like this. So whatever they have asked, we can do it accordingly. That's the only one thing. Okay. And next one, one uh, not point. Additionally, we have to write one key points. Okay. Okay. Note, just a note, important. We know torque is equal to R perpendicular multiplied with F perpendicular. Okay. So what we have seen in our previous example, in our first example, we have seen R is in this direction. And we have F sine theta in this direction. R and F is perpendicular. What is the direction of torque? R cross F sine theta. So is that? So I am just marking. This is your torque. Torque is in the plus is that direction always. So I can say torque is always perpendicular to both R and F. Is this is correct? Huh? R is in the x direction. Torque is in the is that direction. So it is perpendicular. Torque is in the z direction. F sine theta is in the y direction. This is y direction, and torque is like this. So both are 90 degree, right? Both are 90 degree. R is in this direction, and torque is in this direction. Again, both are making 90 degree. So torque is always perpendicular to R and F. Torque dot R is what? To R cos. What will come? Cos 90 will come because angle between to To and R is 90, so answer is zero. Similarly, to dot F is equal to to F. How much will come? Cos 90, which is again equal to zero. Okay, this is important. 
okay hope this is uh, um, the area in which what we have discussed will be the clear and we'll uh, move into a uh, another uh, topics which is also related with uh, something called uh, moment of inertia and uh, before that we want to uh, give you some insight into um, uh, we are going to learn with uh, another uh, uh, equation of a torque so torque now we have only stick into the two equation while i am starting the topic i told torque will have r cross f this is actually you are learning it in work power energy i just revised the topics and give you some more insight what all the other things will be there this is what i have done because with this hindra only the next topics will go into understand next topic we are going to see it's one of the very famous topic which uh, we already know and that is called the moment of inertia we are going to learn uh, in deep about moment of inertia there are always i can see question papers in uh, previous je and uh, medical both medical and engineering side questions will be there from this area based on the moment of inertia concepts so let's jump into the next topic moment of inertia so please write on the heading called moment of inertia moment of inertia what is called inertia inertia in physics is called laziness so the word itself is very simple right moment of inertia so we will split and we will understand the meaning of the heading first then we will go there inertia means what laziness okay when i am um, just lying on a bed okay i am very energetic because everybody will like to sleep okay so i can say i am very stable while i am sleeping that is very less chance to fall down but while i am sitting i am much more stable that's what while we are entering to bus uh, train we always look for seat because you will be very comfortable once you are sitting and you will be very more stable if you are standing you are not that much stable comparable to while you are sitting while you are sleeping sleeping positions and you are sitting position you are not very much comfortable so inertia means every body will have a laziness that is with respect to a living being or it's with respect to a non living being every body will have its own inertia inertia means laziness studying also we have inertia unless until if you are not studying the topic in a very interesting way right and we will feel it's a bit boring so inertia means laziness physics la moment moment means in physics la rendu meaning ana adu depends on the context english la uh, some words will have two meaning right depends on the situation situation based it rendu meanings irukku so the same way here also we have the two meanings for moment moment means sometimes moment e is called the time a uh, time sometimes moment is called the position so here moment is called the position here the meaning will be is called position at that moment at that time right moment at that time so moment eh? here here we have two meaning i told moment will have two meaning position and time here the meaning is position now we will add these two word position plus laziness moment of inertia position plus laziness so every body will have a laziness on its own position right now you can able to correlate every body have its own laziness when it is when it has different position when you are sleeping position you have more laziness when you are in sitting position you have an average laziness when you are standing you have less laziness so laziness will have laziness ha have there for every body depends on their position and that laziness on each position is called moment of inertia clear ah huh? this position have a laziness this positions will have a laziness this positions will have a laziness okay so suppose i have my pen with respect to my pen the pen will have a laziness value at this point laziness value at this point laziness value at this point so that is called moment of inertia so let's take an example suppose i have a mass of m will be here at a distance of r meter away this body will show a laziness show a laziness and this laziness is called the moment of inertia mi and the general form and the general uh, uh, representation term is called i i is equal to m r square please remember this formula torque is equal to i 
m r so not torque moment of inertia m i is equal to m i is equal to uh, i uh, sorry i is equal to m r square okay next equation of torque equation of torque in terms of in terms of i we are going to find the equation of the torque torque and equation with respect to or in terms of i so we know torque will be equal to r f we know f is equal to m a we know a is equal to r alpha so m into r alpha so this can be written as m r square alpha now you got the answer so torque will be equal to what is m r square i so torque will be equal to i alpha this is the equation in rotational motion now the beauty of this one this is actually the analogy of this is actually the analogy of f is equal to m a while i am starting the lessons i told torque in rotational motion is equal to force in linear motion so torque and the force are same i and m are same alpha and a are same okay so f is equal to m a is the very famous newton second law equation and the analogous equation in rotational motion this is one of the year aims question if i remember correctly analogous equations to the analogous equation rotational motions for newton's second law of motion very old question so torque f is equal to m f will be replaced with the torque m will be replaced with the moment of inertia a will be replaced with the alpha so you will get torque is equal to i alpha important on okay depends on the question okay and this is clear okay so let's do some uh, numericals based on this moment of inertia concepts and other things so that uh, things will be become bit more clear okay before that one more point will add then we'll go to the question the point is like moment of inertia is always calculated is always calculated about a point or axis about a point or an axis passing through that point axis passing through that point okay moment of inertia is always calculated for an axis or a point which is always passing through that point so let's take one questions will be here find the moment of inertia along x x dash axis so three bodies are given in an equilateral triangle 60 60 and then 60 here one body here second body equal body m m and this is m axis is like this this axis is called x dash x x dash axis x x dash x so with respect to this we need to calculate the moment of inertia moment of inertia means what i told i is equal to m r square okay so here we have three bodies let me make this as m1 and this is mixed as m2 and this is mixed as m3 so m1 r1 so i can say total moment of inertia will be equal to m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus and m3 r3 square moon masses so totally three moment of inertias m1 m1 is what m1 is this mass adinde a axis kula distance the m1 mass is already passing through the axis so there is no distance so m into zero square plus m2 m2 i am considering this one m a axis kula perpendicular distance arikanam so this is actually the perpendicular distance so each side will be equal to a then what will come m2 a square so which means m a square plus m3 m3 is the third mass the third mass is perpendicular perpendicular distance means we need to calculate this distance if this is a okay and this is uh, this is a this is 60 degree this is 30 degree so what is this adjacent side will come a cos 30 will come right 
this is a so this is a cos 30 this is a sin 30 or a cos 60 e side and that is nothing but will be equal to a and this side this perpendicular distance which is already given to us okay and the side value for 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 uh, for 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 this one will be it is a cos 30 so but what we required we we have this axis e axis in a mass in the perpendicular distance one so uh, two ways we can calculate either we know it is half of this one or this is a cos 30 then this will come what a sin 30 which is equal to a by 2 or it is half of this one right a by 2 and this is a by 2 so m into a by 2 the whole square so we'll will uh, substitute and will simplify so m a square plus m a square by 4 answer is 5 m a square by 4 so 5 m a square by 4 is the right answer to this question fine great next uh, we are going to calculate the moment of inertia for a different bodies so this is actually a big derivations are there for every body's moment of inertia of a different objects ring in a moment of inertia about some point correct about some point means laziness at some point other than moment of inertia that mean so we are going to create a table and over the table we will write the definitions of various moment of inertia okay so you can write uh, two columns over will be here we will write the two columns <coughs> so it is called once one column is object another column is uh, i value moment of inertia value okay so we will uh, go one by one na. first or road is on a road a road in the e axis on a moment of inertia okay a road in the length is l mass is always m i am taking so i is equal to ml square by 12 e axis lola moment of inertia okay the uh, the next body which is of ring a ring is in the center could pass in the line is an axis of rotation our rotation coming together this we have placed like this one i is equal to m r square next to okay then a name we will also write a ring this one is road and this one is disk a disk in the center but a pass in a line axis you can draw like this also you can draw like this also both are same i is equal to mr square divided by 2 i is equal to mr square divided by 2 again uh, the same stuff will be repeating over here same heading object i value object and i value so we have an objects will be here and we have as well as for an i value will be here and we have the next one is hollow cylinder okay so this is the one and this is the axis of rotation and this is the hollow cylinder hollow cylinder the value i is equal to m r square you know r is the radius of this one for this case also r is the radius so i am not marking everywhere i is the radius or that is one is the radius so objects so next one is uh, next one is the solid cylinder axis of okay so this is the solid cylinder solid cylinder solid cylinder and i is equal to mr square divided by mr square divided by 2 is the solid cylinder values for this bodies okay <coughs> next one we have to clear the board and go so next one is a rectangular lamina next one is a rectangular lamina rectangular shape and in the length l and in the breadth b axis is on so we'll write rectangular lamina rectangular lamina is two ways and this is not uh, sorry this is this i'm giving like y y dash axis 
Similarly, two ways we can find x, x dash axis. Render formula. E axis learned again. I, y, y dash is equal to ml square by 12. I, uh, x, x dash axis on angle mp square by 12. With respect to what axis? I told right. Inertia of a body is with respect to the axis. With respect to the axis or with respect to the uh, uh, position. Okay. Next one is the okay. Next one is angular uh, annular disc. Angular la annular disc. We do disc. Okay, next disc. E portions of field diagram. Okay, this is R1 and this radius is R2. So an axis which is passing through this one axis of rotation i is equal to m into r1 square plus r2 square divided by 2. Disk in other formula, but we have two times of r1 and r2 values will be here. Okay, then the next one. Next body. Triangular lamina. So a body. Then the e axis down axis e body adhana, this will be the height h so i along this axis along the base important on not like this very important i is equal to m h square by 6 so base on the axis axis is very important okay m h square by 6 that is triangular laminate cases okay any next uh, two more things will be there next one is the uh, hollows okay this will be triangular lamina triangular lamina next one is hollow sphere okay this is a hollow sphere so along this is the axis of rotation so this is a hollow sphere means like a rubber ball i is equal to 2 by 3 mr square and next one is solid sphere this is the axis of rotation and this is the solid sphere at least these values you will have to remember 2 by 5 mr square is all sphere when a common question on anger common it problem till a lot of ever not wish and them okay Then the next thing, two more things, then we will, this, this area is finished. Next one is hollow corn, corn, radius R, height, sorry, E height L, E length, length L, okay, length L, so, other uh, way the moment of inertia along the axis of rotations i is equal to mr square by 2 this is called hollow corn hollow corn inside it is empty corn ice creams in the cup it will be there okay next one is solid corn radius and this length is l okay so this is solid corn inside it is filled Solid corn value 3 mr square by 10 i is equal to 3 mr square divided by 10 all these values you have to remember okay everything will have its own derivation but that is not required for you but all these values you have to remember then only based on the problem we can able to answer the major right where the road is solid sphere hollow sphere hollow sphere hollow cylinder solid cylinder Corn along another, it's very rare, rare case, and especially for JE, it will be there. But for a, a neat examination point of view, solid cones are there. Chances come with that, so it's I am I am not saying it's not coming because chances are less. We don't know what it's going to come, but out of this one, you can definitely something will be there. Okay, hope this is clear for the moment of inertia topic.